Hi children, today we are going to learn verbal problems on simple equations. So, verbal problems on simple equations, exercise 3. See, here one pen is there. Then what is the total length of the pen? 13 centimeter. Then they did two parts. One part is 9 y centimeter, second part is 8 centimeter. Find the value of what? That means solution y plus 8 centimeter is equal to 13 centimeter. Then what is the total length of the pen? 13. Then how many parts? They did two parts. What is the first one part? Y. Second part? 8 centimeter. Then what is the value of Y? Means Y is equal to 13 minus 8. 5 centimeter. Second. If we add 7 to twice a number. Add 7 to twice a number. What is the meaning of twice a number? Two times of number. Here we have to assume number as x. Twice a number 2x. Add 7 2x plus 7. That is the meaning of that sentence. If we add 7 to twice a number means 2x plus 7. We get 49 is equal to 49. Then we have to solve the problem. Now First, we have to assume number is equal to x. Number is equal to x. Then what we need? Not number. We need twice a number. Then second step, twice a number. Is equal to 2 into x is equal to 2x. Now, add 7 to Twice a number, we get 49. That means, add 7 to twice a number, 2x plus 7, we get means is equal to 49. What is the simple equation now as per this problem? 2x plus 7 is equal to 49. Now, 2x is equal to 49 minus 7. Then transforming LHS to RHS. Then plus become minus. Then 2x is equal to 42. x is equal to 42 by 2. 21 times. 2 goes in 42, 21 times. Then x is equal to 21. Therefore, number is equal to 21. Now, verification, twice a number, 21 into 2, 42, plus 7, 49. We got it, 49 or not? 49, we got it. Then, our problem is correct. Next, sum of three consecutive integers is 24. Find integers. Now, what are the consecutive integers? Con uh, consecutive integers means continuation numbers. Suppose, 10, 11, 12. 20, 21, 22, 100, 101, 102, like that consecutive numbers. Now, three consecutive integers means first we have to assume consecutive integers. Now, three consecutive integers x. Second one, x plus 1. Third one, x plus 2. Suppose we don't know those three numbers. Then we have to assume x, x plus 1, x plus 2. Why? Because, now suppose 11, 12, 13. These are the consecutive numbers 11, 12, 13. Now, if you add 11 to 1, you will get 12. If you add 11 to 2, you will get 13. Means what are the numbers? 11 plus 1, 12. 11 plus 2, 13. That means what are the integers, the, uh, unknown integers? x, x plus 1, x plus 2. Now, sum of three consecutive integers. Sum means what we have to do? Addition. Sum of three integers is equal to x plus x plus 1, x plus 2 
is equal to 3x plus 3. x, 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 3x over 2 plus 1, 3. Now, what you give an clue? Sum of 3 consecutive integers is 24. Now, sum of 3 integers is equal to 24. As per problem, what we got? 3x plus 3 is equal to 24. 3x is equal to 24 minus 3 is equal to 21. Then x is equal to 21 by 3. 7 times. So, therefore, number numbers 7, 8, 9. Now, what are the numbers? x is equal to 7. x plus 1, 7 plus 1, 8. x plus 2, 7 plus 2, 9. So, numbers are 7, 8, 9. If you add 3, 7 plus 8 plus 9, you will get 24. 7 plus 8, 15. 15 plus 9, 24. Then, what are the 3 consecutive inter integers means continuation, 3 numbers. Then, starting number, any number. 20, 21, 22. 25, 26, 27, like that. Now, first number we have to assume x. Then, next number, if you add 1, you will get next number. Then again third number, if you add 2, you will get third number. Then x, x plus 1, x plus 2. Next. Length of a rectangle exceeds its breadth by, exceeds breadth by 4 cm. What is the meaning of exceeds? Exceeds means more. Always rectangle is, length is, length of rectangle is greater, uh, more than breadth. Now, length of a rectangle exceeds its breadth by 4 cm. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 84, find length and breadth. See, now, always in rectangle length is more than breadth. How much more? 4 cm. Suppose breadth 4, then length 8. Suppose breadth 10, length 14. That means, always the length is depends upon the breadth. That's why we have to assume breadth as x. Now, length of rectangle exceeds breadth by 4 cm. What is the clue given? Length of rectangle exceeds breadth by 4 cm. Suppose breadth 4 means length 8. 20 means 24. Like that, always the length is depends upon the breadth. That's why we have to assume breadth as x. Breadth is equal to x cm. Length is equal to 4. Sorry x plus 4 centimeter. x it means more. x it means what is the meaning? More. Now, perimeter. What is the perimeter given? 84 centimeter. Now, as per problem, Perimeter is equal to 84 centimeter. 2 into L plus B is equal to 84. What is the formula? 2 into L plus B. Now, 2 into, what is the length? X plus 4 plus X is equal to 84. Now, 2X plus 4. Is equal to 84 by 2. Multiplication 2 goes that side. It will become division. Now 42. Now 2x plus 4 is equal to 42 centimeter. Now we want only 2x. Then take 4 to that side. Then plus become minus minus 4. 
then 2x is equal to 38. Then x is equal to multiplication goes that side become division. 2 19s. X is equal to 19 centimeter. What is X? What we assumed X as? Breadth. Now, breadth is equal to 19. Length is equal to 19 plus 4, 23 centimeter. Now, how to find out? Now, here what he given? Length of rectangle exceeds its breadth by 4 cm. Always in rectangle length is more than breadth. How much more here? 4 cm more. That means suppose breadth 10 means length 14 cm. Means the length is always depends upon the breadth. Now breadth we have to assume as x. Then length is equal to x plus 4. Then perimeter how much given? 84 centimeter. But as per problem, 2 into L plus B is equal to 84. Instead of length, what we have to substitute? X plus 4. Instead of breadth, X. Then X plus X, 2X plus 4. Then 2 goes that side, it becomes division. Then 2X plus 4 is equal to 42. If you solve that equation, you will get X is equal to 19. What is X? Breadth. Breadth is 19. Length is 23. Now, this is the verbal problems on simple equations.